The whole fallout for Biden since the debate rests on this one premise that he did, allegedly, so poorly that he can't recover with voters. The Democrats going public against Biden don't say he can't handle the job today or he can't go to the NATO summit today. They merely argue the debate was such a political disaster that he can't handle campaigning and has lost the voting public. So Biden's prepping for tonight, and he's largely trying to overcome that view or win voters back. So we have something for you that's kind of interesting as we continue to follow, as I told you, the different evidence out there. And evidence is not always conclusive. But what if that whole talk of the debate shifting everything is actually overblown under data? There is evidence that Biden was trailing anyway going into the debate. Our guest, Jay Kumanduri, just mentioned that. That's why his team pushed for an early debate. But now there are independent experts with new data that says there actually is not a ton of evidence that Biden is doing even worse than that since the debate among people who viewed it. In other words, he may still be behind, he may even still be about to lose, but he's not more behind because of the debate, according to these researchers who surveyed the same set of people before and after the debate and found, quote, Little impact on voter precedence. These are on voter preference, I should say. Now, these are people from Northeastern. They're academic researchers and pollsters. Biden's support actually stood slightly above Trump. 94% of those who said they were with Biden for the debate still prefer him. A lower 86 of pre-debate Trump supporters say they still support Trump after the debate, and basically no significant number of people actually changed their minds. And so when you look at that number, uh, Che, I want to be very clear with viewers, that number is not exactly apples to apples, because mm -hmm. Trump may have had more supporters going in. But this idea that the debate would drastically move people, uh, at least according to those researchers, is, is exaggerated. Your thoughts? Yeah, look, Donald Trump is not popular. People do not like Donald Trump. In fact, most Americans hate Donald Trump. There is a reason that Donald Trump uh, did, you know, he was not, by the way, good in that debate. He was very poor in that debate. And I, I, I wish Joe Biden had been better and been able to show uh, everybody, like, how, how the lies and the deceit and the record of Donald Trump is just awful and nobody should consider them. So the problem is not Donald Trump. The problem is that Joe Biden is losing voters, not to Donald Trump, but to the couch. He is losing voters hmm. to third parties. That is actually what's happening. It is because voters do not believe the president has the fitness to be president again for another four years. And the debate was supposed to put to rest those questions. We need a strategy. Joe Biden needs a strategy to turn that around in a big, bold way for us to continue, because voters are simply not going to are going to tune us out. They're not going to show up at the polls or they're going to vote third party. It's not about them voting for Donald Trump. Hey there, MSNBC fans. I'm Luke Russert. And be sure to join me, Rachel Maddow, Jen Psaki, Lawrence O'Donnell, Steve Kornacki, Joy Reid, and many more. September 7th in Brooklyn, MSNBC Live Democracy 2024. Click on the link for ticket information. We will see you there.